Hi guys, Carl from Retro32 here. Put this little video together for you to compare the RGB to HDMI adapter versus the OSSC, the Open Source Scan Converter. Uh, there's been a lot of talk on how they compare and which is the best, so we, put, we thought we'd put the video side by side so that you can see for yourself. Now, just bear in mind that the video coming from the RGB to HDMI adapter was in 1080 and the video from the OSSC was only in 720. This is because the Elgato wouldn't let me capture at 1080 with the OSSC. So just bear that in mind in the video that there has been some scaling done, but hopefully even then you should get a half decent comparison on how they stack up against each other. Um, also the audio itself is only coming from the OSSC. Obviously just bear that in mind if you are going to buy one of the RGB to HDMI adapters is that the audio is not thrown over the HDMI cable. And first up we have some classic pinball action with my favourite table Nightmare from Pinball Dreams. Enjoy.
And there we go guys, I uh, hope you found that video comparison useful, um, for me personally the RGB to HDMI adapter really does stand out as an amazing solution, it offers emulation quality video, uh, very low lag and price wise compared to the OSSC it's less than half the price um, even when you take into account that you're going to need a Pi, um, SD card cables etc. Um, but yeah, absolutely fantastic, uh, amazing solution. Um, obviously the only shame is, is that it doesn't carry audio over HDMI, um, which is to be expected because at the end of the day the uh, adapter just piggybacks the Amiga Video Denise chip. Um, but other than that, an amazing solution. Now, I still will continue just to use my OSSC. For me personally, with having lots of different Amigas, it's much more of a flexible solution um, and it offers the audio over HDMI 2. Now be sure to check out our website for this stunning little side panel that we've made with a hole in there for the HDMI and button cables so to keep things nice and neat in your setup. Um, also if you've got one of these devices and you're looking for some help fitting it, uh, do be sure to check out our channel uh, for our last video um, on how to install it on your Amiga 500. Thank you for watching and we'll be sure to leave all of the various links and things in the video description. Uh, let us know what you think um, about the device in the comments below and uh, yeah, thank you very much and cheers, bye bye.